Hey everyone, I am back on the ice. It is an absolutely beautiful day. Sunny, warm. We are out here targeting brook trout once again. If you've seen my last couple videos, you know I've been on a bit of a trout kick this year. Still on it. Today we are out here, I'm out with Eric, and we are exploring a brand new lake neither of us have been to before. Uh, this is going to be fun. We're going to be covering some water and, uh, you know, getting to know this lake. Hopefully we'll find some fish. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna grab myself a butterworm. There. So that is the VMC uh, Mongo Tungsten J with a butterworm. Let's see if we can get a fish on that. Okay, on my second line, I've got a white tube. I'm just gonna thread a couple waxies on here for scent. There we go. Okay, so I've got my line set up by this tree here to start. See what happens. What are you doing, Eric? I'm gonna hop down maybe about 100 yards, the next kind of piece of structure along the shoreline, and we're just gonna split up and uh, see if we can find some active fish. Okay, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Don't be too far. Alright, so the first tree I set up on looked really good, but nothing has happened, so I moved over here. Another tree. Check this out. You just marked one? Ooh. I just moved away from there. All right, we are making a move. Nothing's happening here at this tree. Or that tree. So I'm gonna keep moving around and scope out some new areas. Eric had marked a couple fish here. He lost a fish a little further that way, but we wanna cover some new water. Now I have not had a sniff. How could you not eat that? Looks so tasty. Yep. 
Oh yeah, still there, still there. Oh my gosh. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Speak, speak. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, Woo! Hold on, hold on. I want to get him off the ice. Yes. Okay. Oh. I get the bucket. Wow. He's giving him a dunk here. Oh my gosh, Eric. Hey guys, I got a good one here. I'm just keeping him in the water. Eric's grabbing a bucket. Oh my gosh. That's a thick one. That's a big one. Yeah. Wow. He's still hooked. Okay. What a beast. That's a PB. That's a thick, thick fish. My gosh, that thing's just gorged. I know. Oh. He's gonna need more water. Yeah, I'll get him some. Oh. What just happened, Ash? Guys, just caught a beast of a brook trout. My gosh. We were playing around with the drone and I looked over and saw the rod was uh, set off. And then I happened to notice that the rod tip was bumping, so it came running over. Oh, this is a beautiful rookie. Wow. Big female. Yeah, yeah. That is a girthy fish. The belly. Oh. Okay, I am just blown away. This is a huge fish for me. This is definitely bigger than my last brook trout. We popped her in the bucket here, grabbed a couple of photos, and now I'm gonna send her back. Oh my gosh, you guys, this fish is thick. Let me show you. Look at that belly. It's just amazing colors on this fish. Gorgeous, okay. We're not keeping her. She's going back. There we go. Okay, she's ready to go. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hold on, girl. Look at that gut. My gosh, what a stunning fish. Oh, yes! I had no expectations on a new lake, and we were messing around with the drone, and, and I saw that rod go, and I did not expect to see a fish like that today, so... Wow. Just amazing, amazing! Okay, let's get this reset, but before I do... Show you guys what we're using. So this is the BMC Mongo, sorry, Tungsten Mongo Jig. There was a butterworm on there. I'll put a new one on, but that fish had a still line. We have moving lines and we have still lines and she had a still line, so. <sighs> I'm just blown away here. And my hands are seriously hurting. Um, I have kind of a circulation issue, so. It's super important for me to rewarm my hands when, uh, after I'm touching this cold water. So. Okay, I'm warming my hands. Eric's moving a uh, line closer to where we caught that fish. It is not that cold today though, despite how cold my hands are right now. It's been a beautiful day. Below zero, but the sun was amazing. And I didn't even break out the hot hands today. Okay. We are reset. So as I said, I did not have high expectations for this lake. We showed up here a little bit later this morning. We didn't want to head out on new water in the dark. So we had good daylight to check the ice conditions and make our way around. I've been doing a lot of research about brook trout because it is pretty new for me still. And uh, we set up in kind of a classic area. There was a couple of trees down in the water, pretty shallow. I think our deepest line there was 10 feet and Eric had lost a fish at the hole nearby that area. We drilled a ton of holes and we just kind of gave that area some time, moved down, and where I picked up this fish here is a shallow flat. I think my line's in like three feet of water. I really thought this would be more of uh, getting to know the lake day. I didn't have any expectations of catching a fish, but I'm really happy. So we've got a bit of daylight left. We're gonna keep going. Uh, we may come back out here tomorrow. We'll see what happens, but nonetheless, 
I am, if you can't tell, just absolutely thrilled about catching that fish. Beautiful fish, big belly. That is, you know, the fish that makes it all worth it exploring new water and, and having fishless days. So yeah, I'm real happy. <laughs> So today I've been fishing with the jaw jackers and I've had a few comments and questions about these. Love them or hate them, they catch fish. Um, the reason why I really like them is because for, for this scenario where I'm fishing super shallow water, you know, I've had my live scope out and I've seen what happens when you move around at all on the ice and there's a fish on your screen. Uh, these fish hear it, they feel it, they're very affected by it. So what this enables me to do is set my lines up super shallow, sit on shore, and not make any noise on the ice. And you know, it just increases the chances of getting a bite. Uh, what I also like about them is, you know, the jaw jackers versus uh, tip up. Um, what happens is when a fish bites, it releases the rod tip and it sets the hook. So you're not getting fish swallowing hooks. And you know, I do a lot of catch and release fishing. So for me, just knowing that that fish is getting a good hook set and I can send it back I'm happy. This is our second year using the jaw jackers. I've got, you know, a couple other videos uh, for Brook Trout using these and I really like them. Um, but if you have any questions about them, feel free. I might do a video just how to use them. But as you can see, it's been uh, a great way for us to fish and it's, it's very different for me. I, I do like jigging and, and, you know, being one-on-one -on -one with the fish. But in a scenario like this, just being able to get right up tight to, sh to uh, shore and not make any noise, super effective. Eric, I noticed that you stopped jigging and you set another line. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I joined the jaw jacker crowd. Yeah, so. well, tell us about that fish you lost because I didn't make it over in time. No, so uh, honestly within the first 15 minutes of uh, dropping my lure down, um, I had a fish just come out of nowhere and absolutely hammer my spoon. You had it up the hole? I had it all the way up the hole. On the ice? Not quite? On the uh, half on the ice. Okay. And the hooks came loose and the fish, of course, uh, managed to get turned around and head straight down the hole. Ah! So. Well, I heard you yell and then I started coming over and then you put your arm up to stop. So I yeah. thought, I didn't realize you had lost one. I thought maybe you were marking one. So you, uh, you had gotten set up near those trees with the set lines and then I decided to kind of, you know, slide out a little bit, get a little bit deeper water, uh, you know, those fish around midday sometimes will get into that, you know, 10 to 15 zone. And uh, just started kind of jigging away. And yeah, the first hole I set up on had a hit within, again, the first 15 minutes and just completely took me by surprise. Ah. I marked it. Have you, did you mark many today uh, on, on your flasher? One. So okay. I hooked the one, I didn't mark him, but then uh, actually when I came back over to the trees, uh, there was one fish off the tip of it that uh, I did mark, but he was completely inactive, never moved towards it, just kind of came through and big solid red bar, but. Well, this is a super encouraging day. I mean, we've got one fish, but we're brand new here. So, yeah. and you lost breaking. one, so we could have had a two fish day and. Exactly, breaking down new water and yeah. trying a few different spots. It's fun, it's a beautiful area. I'm definitely gonna bring the kayak in here too. Mm -hmm. That should be a lot of fun, but uh, yeah, it's super encouraging again, this is a, you know, we're primarily targeting uh, holdovers. We're not targeting, you know, necessarily freshly stocked fish. So these fish, you know, you don't necessarily get as many of them, but the ones that you do get tend to make your day worthwhile. So it's just oh, yeah. a different, uh, Definitely different worthwhile. pace, but uh, a lot of fun nonetheless. So for sure. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to take off in a couple minutes here. We are losing daylight. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching the video. I know that we are not catching numbers of fish, uh, but for me, this is a trophy hunt. I know there's lakes that I can go to and catch tons of little guys, but I've been trying to focus on, you know, getting better at catching large brook trout. Uh, we are very fortunate here in Ontario that the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry has a stocking program. So they stock lakes throughout the province to give us angling opportunities. There are different trout species. Uh, you can find more information at Fish Online. I'll include a link to that. Um, but that's what I'm doing this winter so far is exploring new water, taking advantage of these opportunities and uh, learning a lot in the process. So if you have any questions or comments or advice, love to hear from you below. But thank you guys so much for watching. More of these adventures to come and I'll see you in the next video.